I slap around a little bit. I make reservations at Fredo. The whole nine yards. George, you're all set. Table for two, eight o'clock tonight. Ask for Guido. I guess there's no turning back now, huh? Uh, 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 so what does he do? He blows his whole wad on dog biscuits, you know, so he, so he can go in and see the brat. Oh, no, there must be some mistake. I got a $300 limit. Check this out. He ends up renting the dog back to the original sucker, this plastic surgeon, so he can have money for the date. <laughs> Meet me tonight in the Moylan, quarter to eight. Oh, by the way, this is my last game. I got to get back to the Moylan. Oh, hey, come, come on, on man. Yeah. Don't you relax, Harry. You've taken care of everything. Yeah, you're right. No way even George can screw this up. How do I look? <laughs> Has there been a plane crash or something? Is that why everybody's looking at me? Somebody got assassinated. <laughs> Please tell me there's been a plane crash. George, a Nehru jacket? Yeah! I mean, I've seen pictures of those on some of my mom's old vinyl records, but I've never seen one in person. You said you were going to wear your best outfit. I did. This is it. I've only worn the thing three times. It's practically new. <laughs> I can't believe it. The guy who sold it to me told me it would never go out of style. He lied. <laughs> Nehru suits have been out for 30 years. You haven't dressed up in 30 years? I got dressed up since then. But only once. 1976. <laughs> this jacket, as a matter of fact, was implicated in the breakup of me and my second wife. Jeannie? Yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> that was the 4th of July. Bicentennial. Yeah. Remember that? Sort of, yeah. Right, yeah. Me and Jeannie were going to go down to the river and watch the tall ships come in. Oh, know? sure, yeah. And shoot off some fireworks. Oh, yeah. Well, this was before America's favorite noisemakers became Uzis and AK 47s. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. And I think those bicentennial minutes began to get to her after a while. <laughs> she got carried away, declared her independence. No, no. The hell is in his pocket here. Okay. Look what the this. hell are those? The fireworks. Oh, These are my pop bottle rockets. I never got to shoot them off. Wow. Can I see those? Yeah. It's really sad, George. Well, one thing is for sure, you can't go out on a date dressed like that. No. So what am I going to do? I got to pick Kathleen up in 25 minutes. Just call her and tell her you're going to be late. How late am I going to be? I don't know. If I get a hold of Gino, my tailor, a half hour. If you have to wait to be elected prime minister of India, it's going to take a lot longer. <laughs> Harry, I can't afford a suit. You know that. Stop. It won't cost you a dime. Gino hasn't been on the right side of a basketball game all season. I only take his action because he gives me free suits. <laughs> nice stuff. Nice. Nice. He's John Gotti's tailor. What does that tell you? He never has any labor problems? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to George's acid flashback. <laughs> Hello, George. Hi, Beck. The dog is over there. Let me have him. I got it. Let's go. There you go. Okay. Thanks. Oh, George. Yeah. Don't spend it all on mood rings. <laughs> mood ring. I forgot my mood ring. You. There's a porcupine in my throat. Sore throats hurt. That's why we introduced Trimenic Sore Throat Formula. The new children's medicine made for coughs and colds with sore throats. Try a minute. Just tell us where it hurts. I'm constantly making observations and looking at data. So naturally, when it came time for me to choose a car for myself, I was very interested in the hard numbers, the quantitative aspect of the car, the zero to 60 times, stopping and braking distance, things like that played an important role. But I also weigh qualitative factors. How does the car look, the fit and finish of it? How does it look from the front, from the side, from behind? The car had to fit me. I should have bought this car earlier. Shake your love back. Well, here we are at the Temple of Body Worship. And look what we've discovered. Shocking discovery. Tropicana Twister Light has fewer calories, yet tastes wildly provocative. How could they? Apparently, they desire firm little bodies. While indulging their insatiable lusts for pleasure. Tropicana Twister Light, the first bottled juice drink with NutraSweet. More taste excitement than Mother Nature intended. I think we've seen quite enough of this little peep show. Fox's Wild Adventures in Paradise continues with a full hour of The Simpsons. Kathleen Turner guest stars. Hi, caramba. On an all-new Simpsons, Thursday at 8, 7 central. Okay, what's your size, eh? Uh, I don't know. 
My mother said I was a four. Is that a sign? <laughs> oh, George, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Harry, that's uh, for Mr. Gordy. Oh. It's a fine silk linen blend, eh? What do you think? I get it special from Italy. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. Excuse me. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I mean, feel it. It feels like a woman. God, he's going to be the best-looking guy in the yard. Hey, come on. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you for doing this at the last minute, Gino. I know it's tough, you know. Oh, that's a no problem. These things come up. You know what I'd like to get? A nice double breast. No, nice no, no, that's too flashy. Hey, don't make a good impression on the jury. <laughs> you know what? He's not buying this for a trial, Gino. <laughs> oh. That's too bad. What it's for? Well, I don't wear a suit too often, you know, so I need it for tonight for a date and then probably to be buried in. <laughs> Hey, put on your tie. No. Why not? I don't want to. Why? Tie your tie. You'll look great. Harry, there's a reason that I prefer the turtleneck and medallion look. What's that? Well, I... Oh, brother. Come here. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Appreciate it, Harry, very much. Have fun. Thanks. If you have to do that... <laughs> I'm Harry's friend. George. Hi, Kathleen. God, you look great. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I knew that you would look great. Do you want to sit down? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right this way, Mr. O'Grady. Oh. Best table in the house. Oh. It's almost the only table in the house. It's <laughs> nice. Would the lady like something from the bar? Oh, geez, um... I hope so. <laughs> I mean, I know I would. You do drink, don't you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh... A lot? <laughs> There's no wrong answer. <laughs> um, I'll have a screwdriver, please. Yeah, make it two. And I'll have a Harvey Wallbanger. Where's the Mr. So, here we are. <laughs> so, you want to go first? Go first on what? Well, I mean, you want to tell me a little something about yourself before I tell you a little something about myself, or... Definitely you go first. Okay. Um... All right. Here's something kind of interesting about me. <laughs> I've been married five times. Five times? If that seems like a lot, I can go into more detail. Seems like a lot. <laughs> Okay, good, because, you know, numbers can be misleading. Um, uh, I was only 18 the first time I got married, and teenage marriages never work out. Yeah, and I was only 19 the second time, so... Another teenage marriage. <laughs> right, right, right. And the, uh, the third time was um, a rebound kind of thing, and that was over in a month when my husband tried to strangle me. <laughs> um, fourth time was to the first guy for a second time. And the fifth time was uh, to this oh, to this Lebanese guy for the sole purpose of getting his green card. And I wish I'd known that was the sole purpose ahead of time, believe me, because uh, live and learn. <laughs> oh, my trip. So you have a kind of, what, a history here of these uh, unhealthy relationships? Does that bother you? No, I find it very encouraging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you go. Do I have to? Mm hmm. Wouldn't you rather see me make a knife disappear? No, come on, I'm curious. Okay, me. Well, I crack my knuckles. Uh, I believe in zombies. <laughs> and my favorite stooge was Shemp. <laughs> and you're a smart ass. Now, me, are you kidding? Maybe a wise guy, but not a smart ass. All right, how'd you get that way? That sounds like a question about my family. <laughs> I didn't think so, but maybe it is. Well, most of my family is dead, thank God. <laughs> uh, the rest of them, brain dead. Oh, no. An angry smartass. I will tell you one thing about me, okay? It's important that you know. I am right this minute on my first date in eight years. Really? Yeah. I didn't even own a suit until about 
nine minutes ago. George, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is getting to be like a lot of pressure here. I just, I, um, I mean, after eight years, I don't, why me? Well, I guess I just thought it would be worth it, you know. I mean, the first time you smiled at me, I knew I wanted to show you the knife trick. Oh, sure. I'd love to see it. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ordinary knife? Well, look. Ordinary linen napkin? Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh? How did you do that? I knew you would like that. I am so impressed. You ready to look at some menus? Yeah, thanks Thank a lot. You. Where did it go? Magic! Magic. I'll get you another knife, Mr. Green. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Guido. You're a big help. <laughs> you like garlic? Oh, yeah. Love, love garlic. Listen, about that other subject, eight years is a long time, Kathleen, you know? And I don't want to screw this up. So just kind of let me know how I'm doing as we go along, okay? okay. Well, I'm going to order something with garlic. Yeah, get whatever you want. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was a little signal, wasn't it? That was like a little positive signal from you to me. I may get something with garlic myself. <laughs> From Mexico, too. You know they're dangerous. <laughs> hey, who's out there? George left them here. You don't want them? Guess not. All right. Hey, where are you going with my rockets? Your rockets? That's right. Wait a second. George said you could have them? Well, no, he didn't. Oh, he uh, didn't? Well, yeah, he did, but... Uh... Oh, 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 first he did, and then he didn't. Well, make up your mind. Damn beer. Now I'm fighting over bottle rockets. All right, come on, let's go. Hey, go, 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 go. Oh, oh, oh. Whoosh. Oh. Why don't each of you just take two bottle rockets? There you go. Because I want all four. No, I want all four. I want all I four. Want all okay, 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 hold okay, on. Okay. Once again, the Bible has the answer. <laughs> In 10 seconds, I'm soaking these things. No, 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 come on. Unless the one who loves the rockets more lets the other one have them. Ten. Jack, oh, come on. Nine. All right, come on, Jack. Come on, let me have it. Seven. Come on, Jack. I'll do it. I don't get it, but he don't get him either, right? Five. Soak him. 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 Forget it. I can't ruin perfectly good fireworks. All right, I guess this can only be settled with violence, but take it outside. All right. Look, if you ask me, the rockets still belong to George, OK? She's right. I tell you what, I'm going to put these things in lost and found. If they're not claimed in 10 days, then you can fight for them. All right, 10 days. I'll be here. I'll be here. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you more. I hate you more. <laughs> well, I guess I better go to the airport and pick up my daughter. Hope she's glad to see her dog. Well, why wouldn't she be? Well, I know that George loves this dog, but to be honest with you, I have been in odds with this yapping little creature since the day we flew him home from the kennel. Well, come on, boy. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Miles? Miles? Oh. Miles? Okay. Move it. Cool it. Silver. Bullet. Rocket. Smooth it. It's the right beer now. Grab it while you can. Silver bullet! Have the right beer now. Here, an oil company is making a killing, and one man is making a stand. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Gotta be quick. On Deadly Ground, Rated R. Starts Friday, February 18th. This is the perfect time to try my new Polaroid Captiva. Smile! Hey, where's the picture? There's no picture. Did you see the picture come out? 
How can that be a Polaroid camera if there's no picture? It doesn't look like a Polaroid camera. It's not a Polaroid camera. Presenting the Polaroid Captiva. It's sleek, it's stylish. It's pocket-sized pictures stay in a special compartment till you take them out, so you're free to shoot and shoot. Maybe if you shake it. Yeah, shake the camera. The Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in till you take them out. Rent a truck from Ryder before March 27th, and we'll give you 20 minutes of long-distance calls free. So when you're on the road, you can reach your destination even before you get there. Hi, we're almost there. Hey, it's me again. Tonight, you, the viewer, will decide which one of the living single ladies gets a date with Mr. Wright. Our phone lines will be closing in five minutes, so this is your last chance. And your vote could put Regine, Max, or Khadija over the top. The call now. Now, if you're under 18, get your parents' permission. Stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Come on and call. Come on. Call. I want to see that ball. Hello again, sports fans. Well, looks like everyone at Hardee's has caught basketball fever. That's right. Ever since we began offering this limited edition SEC basketball, it's regulation size with official SEC logos. It's a real winner, and it's only $3.99. Just purchase an eight-piece Hardee pack of fried chicken or a Hardee's real value combo. Holy cow, the SEC basketball. Available only at Hardee's if you hustle. the old first aid kit. I can't believe it. He bit me on the hand. What if he'd severed my third dorsal interossal extensor tendon? Oh, well, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't believe this. There's nothing left. He stole my band-aids? That ain't right. All I got is, uh, some salt tablets and a a snake bite kit. Not even a topical disinfectant. I think I got some pine cleaner in the men's room. I also think you're making way too big a deal out of this. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. My friend, I'm a plastic surgeon. I work with my hands. Well, me too. <laughs> Surely you are not comparing what you do oh. to what I do. All right, I, I can make a woman beautiful. Oh, well, well, I can't do that. A few drinks can sure make a woman acceptable. Yeah, I'd like the number of the restaurant. Alfredo's, please. Hey, hold on, here you go. Oh. Here's Mom. What's your favorite movie? I don't go to movies very much, Kathleen. Oh? In fact, the last movie I saw, I think, was Bambi. <laughs> you know what I do now? I just wait for a movie to come onto network TV. Then I know it's gonna be good. I like going to the movie. Yeah, well, I would go with you. Is there anything new coming out with Danny Kaye in it? Phone call, Mr. O'Grady. For me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello? Hello, George? Yeah. It's Jack. Hiya, Jack. Something wrong? Uh, well, yeah. Jeez, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but, um... Miles ran away. Yeah? And? Your dog, Miles. Uh-huh. Don't you care? Well, I don't know. I'm supposed to, huh? Um, uh, I guess I'll be seeing you then, huh? All right. Okay, goodbye. Yeah. Is something important? No, no, no. No? I mean, somebody would call you here, just... I don't know why, you know? And I'm not going to spoil our dinner by trying to figure it out now. Okay. okay. So what were we talking about? Um... Cinema. Cinema? Yeah. So what'd you think of Bambi? <laughs> Wasn't that forest fire scene scary? Actually, I couldn't, I couldn't even watch it. I couldn't even watch it. Lady and the Tramp, I think, is my favorite. What's that about? Then? Oh, it's about this little dog that, uh, that gets lost, runs away from home, goes out, falls in love. It's uh, sweet, very sweet. Was the owner negligent? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. so. So this little dog, uh, didn't get run over, did it? No, of 
course not. This is a cartoon. This is not real life. Here we are. Two penne with a nice keke sauce. Oh, thank you. That Give us a lovely. little more wine, will you? She's juicing pretty good. <laughs> No, no, I'm having fun. I'm kidding you. So can we talk about a different movie, maybe? Miles! Miles! That's not like somebody calling Miles. Miles! I don't know. I couldn't make it out. Oh, no. Listen, Kathleen. I think we gotta go. I'm sorry. What? Well, uh, hey, Guido. Guido. Here, here's some money. Take this. Just figure out the bill. Give yourself a tip. Not too big, okay? And give the change to Harry. Come on. Why? We gotta go. Well, Miles ran away. What? When did that happen? Uh, about a half an hour ago. That's what the phone call was well, about. Well, why didn't you say something? Oh, uh, I wasn't even sure I would want to go look for him. You know, I'll explain it to well, you. Well, George, of course you want to look for him. You don't let a little dog out of the streets of New York. You shouldn't even be out in the streets of New York yourself, for God's sake. Home. Yeah, well, I live right there. Let's hope right so. Right here? Oh, yeah. okay. How did he get out, anyway? Did you see a dog that looks like I would own him? Uh, <laughs> George. Yeah. Well, maybe somebody saw him. Who called? Listen, I live right here. Why don't we go up? I'll get a flashlight and maybe we can... All right. Oh, and maybe we should get some of those little liver treats that he likes so much. Ice down? Yes, of course. You have a whole case of them, George. <laughs> Company, you know. So, would you mind if I ran inside for just a minute and uh, put away any embarrassing ointments, <laughs> or men's magazines? I'd assume you have them to uh, read the articles. These magazines don't have any articles. <laughs> Be right with you. Okay. Okay. All clear. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, I better get him some water. Yeah. Okay. Over here. Do you know how worried I was? Yeah, back there. Do you know how worried I was about you, huh? I was so worried. Yeah. I think I'm starting to feel guilty or something. From all the times I told him I wish he would run away, you know? Oh, George. Uh, <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that you, uh, that you love this little guy a lot more than you thought you did? Well, I can explain that, Kathleen. But do you believe honesty is important in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and compromise. That's oh, important, absolutely. Too, right? Absolutely. Okay, then I'd like to compromise honesty a little bit. <laughs> Without admitting anything specific, it's possible. It's an outside possibility that maybe I might have said or done certain things that would leave the impression that could lead you to believe that maybe I liked Miles more than I did. Maybe. Yeah, so why? Why? Well, I thought you liked me because of how much I liked Miles. Oh, George. I mean, in a sick way, it's kind of a compliment to you. <laughs> it's very sick. No, it wasn't that. It wasn't that at all. It was not that you loved the dog. It was that the dog loved you. Really? Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't have the best judgment when it comes to men. I go for the superficial, for the... For the Michael Landon hair, the sun-swept tan, the, uh, you know, the pecs, the delts, the quads, the... Anyway. So I decided, for once in my life, you know, mm. I was going to trust someone else's opinion. For his? Yeah. He's just a dumb animal. So am I. <laughs> Me too. Oh, no. <laughs> sweet. George, um, I think maybe you better walk me home, okay? okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Time for his walk anyway. All right. <laughs> yeah. Listen, 
Uh, Kathleen? Yeah. Tonight hasn't oh. been a, a complete disaster, oh, has God, it? Oh, God, no. Are you kidding? Yeah, because, I, I mean, I didn't think so. No, no, and I didn't screw things up by sleeping with you too soon. <laughs> Come on, Miles, let's go. Michelle Fields, free-spirited, adventurous. Among other things. Anyway, when Michelle drove a Pontiac Grand Am with a powerful V6 and sports suspension, she knew she'd found her fun car. Well, I do love the way it drives. You bet. But actually, it's the quality feel. And with a standard airbag and anti-lock brakes for thousands less than your quarter Camry. My Grand Am was too good to pass up. So the new Grand Am is the fun choice and the smart choice. You are really quick. We are driving excitement. and they want friends and family phone numbers, and if they are on that friends and family, you get a better deal. Well, nobody was in my family, so it's not a better deal. I thought it would be a lot more savings. You want to give us savings? Give us savings. Just give it to us. You got it. New AT&T True USA Savings. Spend $25 a month and get 20% off AT&T calls to anyone in the USA, guaranteed. Two out of three friends and family users on basic or prime time will save more on True USA Savings. Bye, UCI. Yeah, true. <laughs> Want. My sister, it's easy. We want what you want. When our appetites or wallets are lightweight. We want McDonald's All-American Meal. Yo, that's the original size cheeseburger, small fries, and a small drink. But my hunger is large and in charge. Then try the double quarter pounder with cheese extra value meal. With large fries and a medium coke. Or for 39 cents more, you can supersize any extra value meal. And get those supersized fries and a large drink. So you're saying what you want is what you get. At McDonald's, McDonald's today. today. Right here. Hi, this is John Hinton. Well, the Living Single Fight for Mr. Right contest is about to be decided. Now, the phone lines are officially closed. We're adding up the votes, and coming up next, we'll be playing the ending you, the viewer, yes, you, the viewer, chose. So, stay tuned. Okay, America, the moment of truth is finally here. The votes have all been counted, a winner has been chosen. And now, we proudly present the Living Single Event of 